Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Anderson Cooper. I will be your moderator for the evening. We are here to watch as John Calhoun and Daniel Webster debate the compromise created by Henry Clay. Hello, Anderson. Hello, Senator Webster. Good evening, everyone. Okay, gentlemen, we are going to start with Senator Webster. I believe that slavery in the United States must end but I understand that those in the South are reluctant to do so. That is why we need to compromise in order to save our nation. I once supported the Wilmot Provisio, but I am now willing to abandon my support in order to gain compromise. I was in full support of entering both the California and Texas territories as free non-slave states, but if that is what will tear our country apart, I believe there must be better options such as Henry Clay's compromise. I do not want to see Southern secession. During the election of 1848, we witnessed the start of the Free Soil Party, a party dedicated to free soil, free speech, free labor, and free men. I agree with these comments, but I know the South will not be pleased. With the ideas of popular sovereignty discussed by the Whig and Democratic parties in the election, we will be able to compromise and create peace. That is why letting the people of these states decide whether or not to become a slave or free state in this compromise will please the people and give them the choice that democracy gives them. I do not believe that there is a good way to compromise because there will always be someone who gets a worse end of the deal. The South won't have the slavery which they depend on to survive. The North also relies on crops and resources grown by the South. I do not agree with the Wilmot Provenzo, because it will once again give the North a chance to gain the upper hand. Is land claimed by Mexico automatically part of the Union? Why? What's the point of that? There is no good explanation for it. Now, as for the election of 1848, popular sovereignty is just outrageous. The government has brainwashed the Americans into thinking slavery needs to be abolished when it is a need for America. So. In result of citizens not wanting slavery, the states in the West would decide on being free states, giving the North the advantage once again. It is hard to see what the downside is for the North in this compromise. Could you please explain it to me, Senator? We want to abolish slavery. We do not necessarily profit, but we also want peace between the North and the South. And by making this compromise, we are agreeing to let the territories of New Mexico and Utah decide based on the population. Texas would be a slave state and California a free state. In my mind, this is an extremely fair compromise for both. Webster, just because you believe your opinion is correct, it does not mean that you can force it on other people who may not agree with you. The compromise benefits the North, and you know it, and that's why you support it. Okay, okay, gentlemen. Senator Calhoun, would you still be against this compromise if Utah and New Mexico became slave states? Well, I don't see the point in arguing something that just won't happen, but if it did, it would make this compromise a lot more fair. I think the truth is we do not know whether or not Utah or New Mexico will become slave or free states. This is a democratic government where it is the people's choice, and in this case, where the government cannot agree, we can use popular sovereignty to give the people their own voice. I think that there is a possibility and we should attempt to create some type of unified America. Senator Webster, what do you plan to do after the compromise? Are you worried about a type of civil war breaking out due to angry Americans? I believe that with this compromise, if the South will cooperate and understand what is good for America, we will be able to build these bridges that have been burned and start to heal the divide instead of create a bigger one. And tell me, Senator Webster, what will America do without the production of crops and resources from the slaves in the South? Paid labor without the harsh treatments of slavery. The institution of slavery is horrendous and not necessary. Come on, John, let's get back to the compromise. We are not currently discussing abolishing slavery. We are discussing stopping the expansion of slavery. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's now talk about the expansion of slavery. There should be an even number of free and slave states. If one has more than the other, there is a disadvantage and becomes off balance. So, with California becoming a free state, Utah or New Mexico should also become a slave state, making the balance even. Because we all know 
that if the South had more s slave states, then the North would go ballistic. So, this is the best I can do for a compromise. Senator, I thought you did not want to compromise. I just think the compromise should be more fair, as the South is at a large disadvantage in the agreement. You will create a large uproar by ending the expansion of slavery. It will never end well. Trust me on that. You guys are old. You will die soon. Let's end this debate and agree to disagree for now. Thank you all for listening. This is Anderson Cooper. Good night. <laughs>